We're doing Henry Weinhard's Private Reserve. One of the best fucking Northwest style lagers that I've had. In it used my, to be. My days. Well, yeah, the bottles were good. A little fucking. history on this was it was it was based out of like uh, Portland, Oregon, but Hop Valley Brewing Company in Eugene had had obviously bought this, and now we're seeing them in stores again. Those guys are hit um, and miss, though, man. That's the problem. I don't want them fucking it up. I've been to Henry Weinhardt's grave, and it's it's said that he's buried with a lot of handwritten recipes, including this one, the Blue Boar, the Hef, all Dude, the I ones used you've to heard. love Blue Boar. Oh, absolutely. And then there's even ones that have never been made that he was hand buried with. So the company kind of went out of business, I, I suppose. Like, I don't know, something weird happened there. The restaurant went out of business. And then these guys picked it up. I hope they didn't mess it up. So this is what we're trying here. So. Smells like it. Mm, it just smells like being drunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember these in a bottle and they were good. Like growing up. I was a kid, but I could buy a six pack of these in bottles for like four something back in the day. To yeah, me, it has that it has that weird earthy bite. It's almost like it's almost like stale chocolate in the background of it. Yeah, I mean it's definitely not as good as out of the brown bottle. There's a lot of resemblance from you know my Remembrance, but mm -hmm. there is that difference. There's a, it almost it almost seems a little sweeter too. I don't like the aftertaste. Yeah, the aftertaste is kind of odd. I don't like it. Yeah, just the finish of it has got a weird, got a weird cocoa essence to it. That's it's like it's like tinny metallic cocoa. right yeah i was thinking metallic very but like weird it, yeah i don't get too much of the cocoa but it's almost like that a questionable flavor like, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know what it is but the substance of the you know the body of it it yeah pretty much tastes like the beginning's great yeah I mean, you know it tastes tastes just like the bottled version of and this the nose is from i don't know it just smells like regular old cheap lager well yeah the nose yeah for sure you can't tell this is fucking Henry Weinhardt shit, you know? I mean, first of all, this isn't Henry Weinhardt well, shit. There's a lot of goddamn bugs out. Yeah. This is Hop Valley fucking brewing, so they pretty much hijacked this, and whatever they did to the end of it... it sucks a load in hell. Yeah, it's it's not what I remember, because I, you know, I used to love this shit. Oh. It's merely okay. Well, yeah, it's not like what it was, okay? Yeah. I mean, I would have to have, like, strong food with it. Yeah, like fish and... <clears throat> oh, I'm just thinking, like, like, smoked meats or barbecued meats oh, or yeah, something. something that with, are, like... Like, good and hearty, and right. then this would just kind of uh, ride along. Something with, like, exploding flavor, you know? Like, whether it's heat, spice... Or jalapeno yeah. something. Oh, or, yeah, You know, yeah. whatever marinated, like, yeah. Richness, like, mm -hmm. strong barbecue sauce yeah. or, you know, like... Or, like, spicy sausages, maybe, with some pasta. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. I really loved this guy's brew. And, this, uh, to me, is just... Yeah, someone... Real basic. It's, it's yeah. just, it's not... It was hijacked and turned into something that the, the, the company It kind of tastes a little bit. God. They kept the beginning, but the end is very odd, you know? And, again, I'm not hating it, but it's still... It's awkward because it's not what I used to drink. Front end, thumbs up. Back end, thumbs down. Agreed. That's, that's kind of, so I guess we're in the middle here. Yeah. He sucks to ruin a legend. 